and welcome to a new video and in this video I want to answer your question regarding Harman OS that I have running here on my Mate 30 Pro and also my MatePad Pro and I have all the questions already uh, here and uh, so let's get started and dig into it. So let's start with the questions. As you can see here, 13 questions I uh, just uh, collected from my comments on Harmon US video. And uh, first of all, we start with, could you make more content on your experience on the super device feature? So let's go out of here. Uh, let's go to the control center. We have the super device here. And what you will see right now, nothing is showing up. So the super device feature, at least on my build, is not 100% working. What I have on my Mate 30 Pro and what I can do, and this is what you can see probably when I go into my Mate 30 Pro, I see my uh, Mate Pad Pro there on the super device tab. I can tap on it and what will happen, it will start the multi-collaboration feature. I don't have to acknowledge or agree to thing here it will as you can see here connect to the mate 30 pro and here you can see the uh, sorry here you can see the mate pad pro under super devices i can go into the other view where i can connect and disconnect devices what does not work is like a free buds or anything else showing up in here it's not working right now also i think it is currently in this limited version of the mate pad pro and the mate 30 pro the first version of harmony s uh, it is not uh, useful for other collaboration features, just like what you saw with multi-cam support or something like this. If you go to the information and tips, it's uh, telling you some basic tips, but it's not loading the super device feature tip, as you can see here, for some reason. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I just think that it is an early build and not all of the features they showed are available for the older devices. For the newer devices, like the devices that come with Harmony OS, those are probably working in a way already, but uh, super device features here are currently not working. So what, what, for, what else I can show you is like, uh, if you go into multitasking view here, the, the possibility to uh, just beam over windows from your MatePad to the Mate 30 Pro, for example, is not working. Or the other way around, if I'm going into my uh, Mate uh, 30 Pro here and just beaming them over is not possible right now. Of course, dragging and dropping files is not an issue at all. So I can go into the gallery, for example. I have here a video file from yesterday. I can go into my tablet. I can go into this ordner, for this uh, folder, for example, and just drag and drop this and it will transfer the file. So this is working, but this worked already on Emotion I 11, so it is not a new feature. Uh, this is the first question. Uh, now let's go to the second question. How is the third party app support like generally? Third party app support is good. So you have access to the Huawei app gallery and uh, you have here the option to install all the apps that are available. You also have the option to install Android applications. So I have app stores here, as you can see here, Android, for example, where I can find uh, the latest open source and free software uh, applications. Those are Android specific applications. I also have uh, the option to go to Paddle Search for searching for different applications. And uh, I also have the option to uh, go into the Aurora store, for example, to download Play Store applications directly uh, and I can also update them directly if I want to. I think I showed this already in my um, introduction or review video of Harmony OS. So this is possible without issues. These are the apps. App situation in general is uh, no Google mobile services on this device. So everything that doesn't need Google mobile services and just needs Android runs and uh, in terms of app situations, there are also in the Chinese store at least some Harmony OS specific applications that are in size very, very small in comparison to Android applications. But this is basically all that there is to the app situation right now. So let's go back to my notepad. Do you think other made pads will get the dock feature? Because this one doesn't have the dock feature right now. You can see it here. So the dock feature of Harmony OS, let's just go to 
this browser, open up a new tab and open up uh, the Huawei MatePad Pro 2021 and then we can see probably the some pictures maybe of the 2021 version with Harmony OS. Here you can see it. As you can see here, there's a dock at the bottom that allows you to see the applications that you have as favorites and also I think running applications. So this is not available here in this build. It will probably come in in a later build. Uh, I guess it is optimized more. Just like I said, uh, the, the tablets that come out now with Harmony S have more features because they worked on those features more and the other devices, the older devices will gradually get more and more features with, with each update and I'm pretty sure that uh, Huawei will get this dock in here as well. And yeah, this is what I think. Let's go back to the notepad. Uh, any changes in desktop mode? Um, I can shortly answer this, not really. Um, let's pause it and I go into desktop mode and I can show you how it looks like. So this is now the desktop mode. You can switch uh, the desktop mode in here. You can see exit desktop mode and on the other um, UI, it will just say enter desktop mode or desktop mode. And this is how it looks like. You can see it has still the Chrome OS or Windows like uh, user interface with the applications here in a menu. So nothing much changed in here. I can open up uh, files, for example, so as you can see here, this is basically the same desktop mode that we had with Emotion UI. So I think also that the new desktop mode that they showed, um, let's go back to the browser and I show you the um, Harmony OS desktop mode picture where it looks a little bit more like um, Mac OS with a dock again at the bottom. Uh, where is it? not the desktop mode. Anyway, even if I don't find it here right now, they had like a macOS like a user interface as desktop mode. It is not available yet for the device. So I think it will come in a later update. So this is uh, basically the uh, desktop mode of uh, Emotion UI that is still included and will not override or will be updated in Harmony OS for now. Now back to the questions. Question number five, will GMS installed systems continue to work if I upgrade to Harmony OS? I don't have GMS installed, so Google Mobile Services installed, but I heard from others, yes, it will work because uh, basically all the apps that you have installed, Android applications will not be overwritten or deleted or something like this. So if you have Google Play services already installed on your device, they will stay there and they will work as if before, because nothing much has changed in that regards. And uh, the uh, number six, can you install Google Apps and run them? You can install some Google Apps. I think I installed Google Maps before. Uh, it's not there anymore, but you have the possibility to install some Google Apps that don't rely on Google Play services or run without Google Play services. If you have problems with this, what you always can do is install GSpace uh, you can, I think, install it from the Huawei uh, app gallery. It's called GSpace. Yes, I can install it here. And this allows you basically to, in a virtual environment, emulate a pre-30 device or another device that has still Google Play services. And if I open it up, uh, it will ask for some permissions. It was downloading now the Google Play services and then allows you to use this. Uh, in portrait mode, apparently not in landscape mode, but this works as well. So this is the option where you can install and use Google um, applications with um, GSpace and you can create also links to the desktop where it automatically starts GSpace in the background and launches the application for you. So it seems like it's integrated into the system. Um, this is, I think, the easiest method possible before it was like also possible with some cracks and hacks. Uh, Google Fire, for example, allowed you to install um, the GMS um, services or GMS in general. And this is not necessary with GSpace application because it just uh, yeah runs as an application inside of uh, Harmony OS and offers a virtual environment. So while this is downloading, 
let's go back and let's go back to landscape and to the questions. Uh, what is Harmony OS based upon now? Many say it's Android. Officially, technically, it is not directly based upon Android. It is based upon Open Harmony, which is the open source project. But Open Harmony is very bare bones right now. It runs on watches already. It runs on televisions already. But the uh, tablet and smartphone version is not really ready for end consumers. So what Huawei did is like they said, okay, we ship the bare bones based Open Harmony as system. And in parallel to this, we have our own stripped down based upon AOSP version. And the UI that you can see here is running completely on this based stripped down AOSP version. This makes it compatible with Android applications, but it doesn't rule out that it's also uh, its own infrastructure that is sitting underneath as you have at least on the Chinese market and the app gallery there, Harmony OS specific applications that don't use Android AOSP at all. Not at all, I would say, but they don't use Android AOSP uh, code that use Harmony uh, OS specific code. So it is like a kind of hybrid system where you have like the Harmony OS system that is still in its infancy. And then you have in parallel AOSP code and they share some um, some interfaces with each other so that they can, can communicate. So technically it is not really based on Android, but it is shipping a version of uh, Android in parallel based upon AOSP. So this is, I think, now a good explanation for this. How's the mouse and keyboard experience uh, when I attach to this device? Um, Keyboard I have already here. This is why when I go in here, I have a keyboard attached. You can see I can edit this and I can go in here and edit stuff. I have the keyboard attached. Um, mouse I don't have attached here right now, but I could uh, just connect this mouse here via Bluetooth. Just a second, I have a Logitech Pebble M350. And this should be able to connect via Bluetooth. I can go to the Bluetooth menu here. And these are only the paired devices. I have to go to settings and then I can scan for available devices. And then I have to see how can I get this Bluetooth mouse to work. Because it's both Bluetooth and it has its own kind of um, dongle as well. So I'm not sure what to do to Make it go into Bluetooth mode. It's now in pairing mode. So it should appear here right now in a few seconds, maybe under Bluetooth. I hope it has a nice name so I can identify it. I think it's a pairing mode right now. Let's go back to here. Try it again. I don't see it here. Go to settings, available devices, scan. And there we have Logitech Pebble. It's pairing now. And now it is there. And as you can see here, I'm moving now the whole system with uh, my mouse pointer. You can see the mouse pointer is changing to this little text indicator where I can click on features. I'm not sure why this keyboard is coming up. I think it is because I installed the uh, Celia keyboard Exactly, so Celia keyboard is coming up all the time. When I press here, as soon as I enter a keyboard, uh, then it is working. Uh, key press, then it's working fine. I think I can also, yeah, I just get rid of it as you can see here. So this is the mouse cursor. The mouse is working fine. Uh, the mouse only has three buttons. So what happens if I click, right click on something, nothing happens, as you can see. Left click opens the application and uh, scrolling. Let's go to the browser, for example, and see. Yeah, scrolling is also working fine and it's working just like I expected. In the uh, browser itself, a middle click acts like a left click, right click adds, uh, acts like a right click would act. So you have to menu here, context menu, it is working fine. Um, can I middle click to close tabs? 
not really i think it went back with the middle click so yeah maybe it needs some kind of optimization still i don't think i have options to uh to configure this maybe here if i go and go on to configure i can only configure it as uh, input device but i cannot configure the mouse the, the presses of the mouse and yeah so this is working fine i think in desktop mode it would show a normal cursor instead of this touch cursor so this is the mouse feature uh, number um, nine did you test the back door uh, I did not see any backdoor or reports about a backdoor. It is like installed. Harmonious is now installed on more than 10 million um, devices, and there are definitely people working around, working on it, and trying to check out everything and trying trying to check out the internals as well. I did not see any backdoor activities. You get the usual Huawei things like in settings where you can search for uh, add and ads and privacy and there you have the option to disable personalized ads for example which where it, or reset the ad id even where it is sending um, personalized ads to huawei as well and you have of course uh, some location services that have also sent some data to huawei uh, regarding your wi-fi and bluetooth if you want to disable this it is also available i think under more connection was it here? No, it was under location services. And uh, let's search just for location. Use wireless LAN to estimate location. You can turn this off if you want to. In advanced settings, uh, Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning, you can turn it off. Then it will not send any of those data. And if you go to the browser, you can go into settings. And there you also have the option to disable certain features. Just like, for example, the security and privacy feature, a safe browsing feature, automatically check the security of websites you visit, where it, where it just sends um, a string or a DNS uh, to Huawei, and Huawei will check if it's on a list of, of a website that is like um, spreading malware or something like this, and automatically warn you. If you don't like this, you can turn it off, and then no data will be sent to Huawei. You also have the do not track feature, which is also pretty nice so it will not track you then so this is possible and i think uh, there's no backdoor as far as i'm aware and it would be very strange to build in a backdoor here i have to say uh, so yeah this is basically the system what what of course backdoor in this case not in the system what i would expect is like uh, because governments want to surveil people and people especially the chinese government so there you have probably where is it me time in the MeTime app, uh, where you call, call with, is it even installed there? The MeTime app, where you can have call and conferences with other people, probably there is some kind of backdoor where they have the ability to uh, just surveil the call, but might not be built into the app itself, might be built into the server infrastructure. So this uh, about surveillance and backdoor. Test the difference in speed in PUBG. Um, uh, sorry, yeah, but there will be no difference in in speed in PUBG because, yeah, the speed of the UI improved a lot, as you can see here. Also, the multitasking, the fluidity, and the animations are far smoother than on Emotion UI. But what you won't have and you won't get is like speed improvements in FPS in games because it is still running through the AOSP line of things. What you might get is like slightly faster loading times because they did some IO optimization which could help in loading times but because the file system is not changed so much and we're still running the old Linux kernel in this case here on my uh, on my MatePad Pro I think it's a 414 kernel let me search for the terminal application it's called Termux where I can show you uh, the kernel running here which is 414 uh, 116 as you can see here so it is still an older kernel um, nothing has changed there so i think the file optimizations are most likely uh, on the newer devices and there you can notice then speed improvements but here not so much i don't have pubg installed i don't want to install it on a tablet and uh, just can tell you that you won't see any any significant change in terms of gaming 
uh, FPS, the only thing that you might see is like a little bit faster loading times, maybe one or two seconds. Is Microsoft Office and Teams working? Yes, it is working because it's like I said, all Android applications besides those ones um, basing on uh, GMS, we're not using GSpace, uh, are working. Apropos GSpace, it is installed already and still loading. I'll let it load. Uh, when it comes to Microsoft Office, I had it installed before, I think, but for this purpose, I can also go here and you can see that it is available on the Huawei App Gallery. You can see Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and more. So you can install it, it will work. Uh, Microsoft Teams is not available here, but Microsoft Teams you can also use in the web browser as far as I'm aware. And you can get it from Paddle Search, as you can see here. Uh, there it is possible to get. Otherwise, I would just recommend using it in the web browser. Um, number 12. Can you run Pokemon Go? No, you cannot, because Pokemon Go is one of the applications that requires GMS services. At least you cannot run it uh, by default. I think if GSpace is ready, now it is ready. Uh, sorry that it's now on the side here, but I can click on plus here. It's only for the application. So what I can do is a little tip. You click on YouTube here, it will go into Google Play Store and you can sign in. And what you can do then is, of course, you have the option to search and install also the uh, Pokemon Go and it should work. I'm not so sure if everything will work fine in terms of GPS and camera and other stuff that Pokemon Go not needs. But in general, it should install and not complain about missing Google Play services. So this is one thing to try out. In gen First reaction is no. Second reaction, maybe with GSpace, you have to try it uh, out on your surf if you have then uh, the Harmony OS update. And number 13, the last one. Do you happen to know which font the Harmony OS system uses? Uh, it's a new font. Yeah, you can see it already here all over the place. I think let's go to the, the themes. Uh, option and here yeah I confirm everything and I can go into uh, next agree um, I can go into the meet tab and I can go into uh, my themes I think no it was not my themes or is it categories fonts where you can see the, your own fonts customize yeah here you can see the font textile default so it's just called default here but yeah, I think the font is called Harmony OS uh, Hans or Hans uh, font. I think, let me check. I installed it also on my MatePad, uh, my Mate 40 Pro. So let's connect my Mate 40 Pro via multi device collaboration, which is also working. My Mate 40 Pro is still running uh, the Emotion UI 11. And here, if I go to there, I. Here I had designs open and I downloaded a nice little design which had the font. If I go here to my me, I have here my fonts. It's in German, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Harmony S Sans, Hans, it's called. So this is the font. And um, if I find the download link again, uh, I can uh, give you the uh, design Harmony S. I think it's HMZ file or something that will upload it somewhere. So you can also install this on your Motion UI 11 device if you like to. So this is basically everything. Harmony UI uh, questions and answers. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have some other questions, of course, you can write them down in the comment section again. Um, this is uh, yeah everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.